We take you guys on Air Premier, which is one of the Korea's newest airline that offers non-stop flight from US to Korea. All this is a hybrid airline, which is affordable tickets, but you get the perks of a regular airline, kind of like Korean Air or Oceana. Air Premier does not have business class, but do have premium economy, which is what I'm writing. They have wider seats, and I did get the front row. As you can see, there's a lot of leg room here. The seat is able to bend backwards a little more, which is something that I was definitely looking for for a 14-hour flight. Windows were electronic by buttons, which was pretty cool and the plane is relatively new so everything was clean the first meal i chose the steak and it came with some potatoes and smoked salmon and i was not looking forward to this but i cannot believe how juicy and legit the steak was i rode korean air business class once and it actually tasted as good as korean air business class steak the potato salad and the salmon was really good as well i think there was dessert too and everything just tasted really good bathroom is normal but it does not have any amenities it only has hand soap so bring everything is my essential this is an eye balm and I love this because it hydrates your eyes and just any part of your face for like hours. So this is perfect for the plane. And I love this glow recipe serum. It makes your face glow all day. These are the movie options. I think there was literally like seven or eight Korean movies. There is no English movies here, but I slept through the whole plane anyway, so it was pretty fine. And then I used the mask that came in the amenity bag, which was really nice. It was high quality. So glad I got this premium economy in the front row because I was able to put my foot up with this inflatable footrest that I got on Amazon and the seats were actually pretty comfortable. Like, I was fearing that my back would be aching, but I was good, you guys. Midway through the flight, they do give you some chocolate bread and I got some green tea. You do have to pay for other snacks. That's the thing about this airline. I slept through most of it, so I wasn't that hungry. Let me save you guys some money. I did try the in-flight Wi-Fi and oh my God. Literally, I opened up Instagram and a minute later, apparently I used up all the data. So, yeah, I don't recommend getting the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi because it is too expensive for literally the lowest megabytes of internet that you get. It was time for the second meal. It came with some fish and butter sauce with some pasta. And you guys, this tasted really good. I was so surprised. I don't know what the food is like on regular economy, but the food was up there. I was invited to check out a rookie spa in Hongdae and this was a facial spa which at first I had no idea what the difference was between regular spa and a facial they apparently mixed together first floor is our sister company Sysology more on this later but the interior was super clean and nice and we headed upstairs at this spa they're going to be doing a thorough investigation to your skin I had no idea what I was looking forward to they start you off with some tea and give you some toner pads to remove anything on your skin Headed off to the camera room. I know this looks crazy, but I was super excited. Apparently it's a high-tech camera that's going to capture everything about your skin. And I think here she's checking the hydration level. Literally Korea is living in 2050. And the computer is going to evaluate everything about my skin from wrinkles to pore sizes, you name it. So the professional is having a deep dive into my skin and he was explaining that I have very oily skin, which is why I have large pores. There was a whole data on my skin. They look at your sunspots, how big your pores are. Apparently I have this one little wrinkle here highlighted in blue. So they are super thorough. This camera is crazy. I also got a copy of it on my phone with a QR code and take this data home with me and change my skincare according to what I really am. Here they're creating a customized cocktail for your skincare spa session. This is their famous oil cut cleansing their hydrating energy cream, and a cocktail mix of serums that you want to use. I chose the one to hydrate my skin because my data showed that I really need to keep my skin hydrated at all times. So all of this is customizable according to your skin needs. 
remember this before phase and this was literally right after we got off the plane so we were super tired we headed upstairs to the spa room and it was such a nice aesthetically clean room they were playing some nice music and we were so excited to start here's our before phase ready for the spa I still had no idea what the session was going to be like, but they started off with aroma oil. This was citrusy and you guys, I was in heaven from this point. And as you guys can see, this is where they give you facial and massage at the same time. Here they're doing a gua sha massage on my head and I cannot explain to you how good this felt. Every step of the facial has a massage that's included. I've never been to a place like this where they do facial and massage at the same time. So it was such a unique treat and they're able to massage every part of your face. And this is great for anti-aging and de-stressing the face. Like from the whole 14 hour flight to massage, constant massage on her face to a facial, literally like my mind is blown. Worth every dollar and penny you come here, Such holy crap. Experience. I was like in heaven. I feel like a princess. We were generally speechless because it was one of the best massages that I've ever gotten. And here's the esthetician teaching us how to do a cupping massage on her face. They give us this little cupping massage, which I use daily even till this day. Great for blood circulation on your face, anti-aging, lifting, you name it. Then we headed down to the first floor, which is histology. They have curated perfumes. And I have very sensitive nose when it comes to perfumes, but these were unisex. They were aromatherapeutic and something that I could even wear as a sensitive person. They had hand creams, body cleansers, and ended up falling in love with all the scents. So I did purchase quite a bit of stuff. So if you're like me and you're sensitive, you guys will love histology. Whenever I'm in Korea, I have to get my hair done. And of course, I'm coming to Lumio Beauty House in Gangnam. I've been coming here for four years and Captain is one of the best stylists, especially for female hair. My hair was looking really dry and brittle. And as you could see, I had a lot of premature hair and needing some nourishment put back into my hair. First is to even out my hair tone and to cover my premature white hair. Captain is so thorough with each strand of your hair. He is also the best when it comes to what color might suit the best for your skin tone. Honestly, I trust anything that Captain does to my hair anyway so I was pretty relaxed. After hair wash, now they're doing the hair nourishment treatment. This is no harsh chemical relaxers, simply a very high concentrated treatment so that you can bring some hydration and life back to your hair. They steam it for about 20 minutes, so it doesn't even take that long. I asked Captain for a side bang to kind of clean up my look a bit. He is amazing when it comes to female hairstyles. And here Captain is teaching me the perfect way to curl my hair, to have loose curls when it comes to the inner part of your hair, and gradually come to fuller, thicker curls to the outside part of your hair so that the curls look more natural and doesn't make your head look too big. You guys see this shine. Again, this was just using the high quality treatment on your hair. Now my hair is back to life. The way that Captain also curled my hair using the method that he told me made my hair look very natural. I highly recommend if you come to Korea, book a session with Captain. If you mention my name, he will also give a discount as well. So 10 out of 10, recommend Lumio Beauty House. Korea has these self studio photo booths everywhere. They run about four to five thousand won. So about four dollars, maybe a little less than that to take photos. It's super fun. Do it with your friends. You get two cuts. There's many different themes as well, and we took a bunch of them. I think we waited like an hour. We waited <laughs> Headed over to Sinsa Karuskil, and this is a very famous honeycomb makgeolli, which is Korean rice wines. I'm kind of late to the trend, but basically, you have rice wine with honeycomb, and it's supposed to be really sweet and nice. Especially great for people who can't drink like me. Usually, makgeolli gives me headache, and it doesn't taste that good. But with the honeycomb, you guys, it tastes so good. I honestly could drink a lot of this, although I can't really drink alcohol. Ten out of ten, I recommend that you guys try it. Perfect.
Then we had some kimchi chicken. Honestly, this was a lot of food for two people, but we did want to try everything. We also ordered the fritters. It was raining this day and Koreans always eat fritters or Korean pancakes when it's raining. It was pretty good. The whole meal for two people was around like Saman on each for 40,000 won. So like conversion to US dollars, it's great, but it's not the cheapest food that you're gonna get in Korea. time to get my nails done and it's been two years since i got my nails done because i don't personally love gel nails it just hurts my nails i don't know what it is the uv lamp also hurts me but getting your nails done feels so good and it looks good so i found this place in Gangnam station i don't have a korean phone number so i couldn't do appointment but i did reach out to her kakao and she said that i could just come in there's pre-made options i think they ran from about 50,000 won all the way up to 100 i personally asked for the basic nude because again i don't really want any thick nails and the whole thing i paid around 40,000 won so conversion was about 31 32 dollars which is amazing look how clean and beautiful my nails look in the next episode i'm taking you guys to a plastic surgery clinic in korea and getting a consultation on my nose and a vitamin c treatment so excited to show you guys this so subscribe for more k-beauty content